Do you ever feel stressed at work? Maybe you have a difficult coworker who seems to get on your nerves daily, or you're dealing with a challenging situation that's causing you anxiety. Whatever the case may be, we've all been there. But what can you do to manage stress and handle difficult situations and people at work? That's what we'll be exploring in this video. We'll be sharing practical strategies and techniques that you can use to reduce stress, cope with difficult people, and build a resilient mindset. So if you're ready to learn how to handle workplace stress like a pro, stay tuned because you won't want to miss this. Managing workplace stress can be a daunting task, but before we can tackle it head on, we need to first identify its source. Workplace stress can come from various sources, from difficult coworkers to challenging situations. But how do we pinpoint the exact source of our stress? To start, journaling your thoughts and emotions can be a powerful technique for understanding your personal triggers and reactions to stress. By jotting down what's bothering you, you can gain a new perspective and clear your mind. Another strategy is to take breaks and practice self-care. Whether it's taking a walk, doing some stretching exercises, or simply taking a few deep breaths, giving yourself a break can help reduce the negative impact of stress. It's also important to recognize that workplace stress can also stem from our own negative self-talk and limiting beliefs. By identifying and reframing these thoughts, we can reduce the impact of stress and feel more in control of challenging situations. Remember, whether the source of your stress is external or internal, understanding where it's coming from is the first step to managing it effectively. So take the time to identify and acknowledge your stressors and take action to reduce their impact on your well-being. Now that you've identified the sources of stress in your work life, it's time to tackle the challenge of dealing with difficult people at work. Whether it's a coworker who always seems to push your buttons or a supervisor who is never satisfied, navigating these interactions can be tough. But don't worry, there are techniques you can use to make it easier. One of the most important things to remember is to stay calm and composed during difficult conversations. By taking a deep breath and keeping your emotions in check, you can prevent the conversation from spiraling out of control and maintain a professional demeanor. Another key technique is to set boundaries. If a difficult coworker is constantly crossing your boundaries, it's okay to speak up and assert yourself. Communicate your boundaries firmly and clearly, and don't be afraid to enforce them. Active listening is another powerful tool that can help to ease tensions and resolve conflicts. When you're having a conversation with a difficult coworker, try to listen attentively and empathize with their point of view. By showing that you're willing to understand where they're coming from, you can build better relationships and improve communication. Last but not least, it's important to stay positive. Even in the face of difficult situations, try to focus on the positives and look for ways to inject positivity into the interaction. By using positive affirmations and keeping a can-do attitude, you can create a more productive and harmonious work environment. So there you have it, some practical techniques for coping with difficult people at work. Give them a try and see how they can help you improve your relationships and reduce stress in the workplace. We've covered a lot of ground so far, discussing ways to identify the sources of stress in your work life and strategies for coping with difficult coworkers or supervisors. But what about building a resilient mindset? That's what we'll be talking about next. When you have a resilient mindset, you're better equipped to protect your mental and emotional well-being, even when faced with challenging situations. One technique for building resilience is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you stay present at the moment and develop a more positive outlook, which is essential for handling difficult situations with greater ease. Taking care of yourself is another crucial component of building resilience. Engage in self-care activities such as exercise, getting adequate sleep, and participating in activities you enjoy to reduce stress and promote well-being. Seeking support is also vital to building resilience. This might involve talking to a therapist, 
reaching out to a supportive friend or family member, or joining a support group. Finally, it's important to have a personal toolkit of coping strategies that work for you. This could include techniques like journaling, practicing gratitude, or engaging in positive self-talk. By implementing these methods, you can develop a resilient mindset that will help you handle difficult situations and people at work more effectively. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our video on handling difficult situations and people at work. We hope you've enjoyed the tips we've shared and feel better equipped to tackle any challenges that come your way. But hold up, we're not done just yet. We want to hear from you too. Do you have any awesome tricks or tips for dealing with difficult coworkers or situations at work? Share your thoughts and ideas with us in the comment section below. And before we wrap up, we have a book recommendation for you that we think you'll love. If you're interested in learning more about mindfulness and its role in leadership, check out The Mindful Leader, 7 Practices for Transforming Your Leadership, Your Organization, and Your Life by Michael Bunting. We've left a link to the book in the description box below. And if you're looking for more videos on how to improve your work relationships, then be sure to check out our video about how to get along with your coworkers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next video here on the Tree of Life channel.